And now I'm going to talk about the perpendicular bisector and the important word equidistant. First, I cannot say perpendicular bisector unless I have a segment because the perpendicular bisector could only be drawn for a segment because it passes through the midpoint of the segment so for in case of a line i cannot find the midpoint of a line or i cannot find the midpoint of a ray so i only can find the midpoint of a segment so the perpendicular bisector is drawn perpendicular perpendicularly to a segment through its midpoint so as you see in this figure, I have AM equals MB because M is the midpoint of the segment AB and CD is the perpendicular bisector of AB. Now we have theorem about the perpendicular bisector. If a point is on the perpendicular bisector of this segment, then it's an at equal distance from the end points or from the extremities of the segments. So if you choose any point E, F, G, H, D on this perpendicular bisector, it's going to be equidistant from the extremities, which are A and B. And now this point, it, whether it's uh, E, F, G or H, we call it equidistant from the extremities.